How are you guys doing, Evil Street Shark fam? Today has been a good day. Time to get out of here. About to leave work and go home. I'm not in the SI right now, as you guys can see. Time to drop off your gifts to the post office. So that's what I'm about to do. About to hurry up, try to get home, and then drop the stuff off. So let's go. So just got home. Time to put some heat in the engine. On a cold start. Time to wake up the neighborhood. I made it. That's all that matters. Yeah, guys, there's no way to park, man. You know what? I'm gonna park in the back. Forget it, man. VIP right here, man. I'm, I'm the, I'm the, I'm UPS guy. Forget this, man. I'm parking in the back. I'm VIP, guys. This, this I'm special, man. Park in the back. There's literally no parking over there, so you know. I'm delivering the mail. Let's go. Let's go drop off these gifts. And I got them in the bag right here. Got all the gifts in the bag. Let's go. Let's get out of here. I just got out the post office. I know y'all saw it was daylight outside. It was, it's that serious. There's no games inside there. But I got my long receipt, guys. I think I'm waiting for two more people to send me stuff, send me their shipping info. But almost about everyone uh, sent me their stuff. So your stuff is gone. I'm gonna send you your uh, info so you guys can ch uh, check it out, check check your tracking numbers and stuff. So definitely, uh, it was hectic. It was the real deal in there, it's no joke. So let's start this baby up and get out of here, man. Let's get out of here, the bag's empty bag is empty i'm gonna send you guys your tracking info let's get out of here oh uh, what's going on guys so then i just washed my car so yesterday i went to the gym right and basically there's like where you get the christmas trees like it's right by my gym where the parking lot is in the back of the parking lot you grab all the christmas trees right so then i come out to my car and i'm like man i just washed my car and I'll see all this white, all this stuff over the car. I'm like, what is all this white stuff? All over my hood, all over the hood, right here, the fenders, all up here, all over, all of the car. And I'm like, what is going on? Oh, I'm like, I just washed this car. Literally, just washed this car. Come find out. I go ahead and touch it and I I go ahead and touch it and I'm like what is this and of course look at it it's the freaking white sap that you get from the Christmas tree so I just washed my car and I guess whatever the machine they used to cut the tree or whatever it sprayed all in the air all over my car I can't win guys. I freaking can't win. I can't win. I can't win. So I'm just gonna wash her off because as you guys can see, it comes off pretty easy. I'm just gonna do a quick wash off and be on my way, man. I cannot win. You think you do good in the world, you have a good day, and then something always gotta mess it up. 
Something always gotta mess it up. It is what it is. Am I gonna complain and not do nothing about it? No. I'm gonna make it happen and do something about it and stop complaining. That's what I'm gonna do. But I'm just gonna share this experience with you guys, man. When you come into situations like this, man, don't complain of it. Count your blessings, count your blessings, and just go fix the problem. That's simple. Don't hold your hold your head. Go fix the problem. Get it over with. So that's what I'm about to do. Fix the problem right now. I'm not gonna record this washing my car because it gets boring and played out seeing me wash my car over and over and over again. So I'm gonna probably skip to that part and get on to the good stuff. Boom, just finished cleaning her up. Looks nice. Now, guess where I'm at? The gas station, of course. <sighs> I see how much, man. A dollar. And mumble, I don't want to hear in the comments, man. Two more days. I'm gonna be out of gas again. I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear it in the comments. We're not gonna hit VTEC. So I'm gonna show you guys how good the miles per gallon is. Not fill up in two, in two days. No VTEC. Drive like a grandma. Let's see how long the gas lasts us. Let's go. Let's see, $6. Seven. 15. Yo, some a lot of people don't even know that you can put the gas cap right here. Like, the, the, uh, do you guys know that? You just put the gas cap right there, fill up. I don't know, man. Some some people just leave it dangle, bang up the car, don't take care of the stuff. I just don't understand, man. But it's that simple. So we got 21, 22. Okay, we got a fast guy. Just filled up. Well, yes, guys. Ridiculous. So where we stop at? We stop at twenty-three dollars eighty-four cents. You know what? I'm gonna put twenty-five. Street Shark fam. Yo, I know you guys saw that. I didn't mean to hit the air out button. I meant to hit the right eye. I'm like, what the hell? I can't drive like this. I'm not about that lifestyle. I'm not about that slam lifestyle. Your boy messing up, man. I'm messing up already, guys. But good morning. How are you guys doing today? Today, I'm gonna show you guys how good the gas mileage is on this car. Let's see how good it is. So, I set the miles from after I put the gas in last night. So, I think, what is it, one mile so far on there? So, we're going to see how good this thing is on gas. Hopefully, I'm going to try. I'm, I'm telling you guys, I'm going to try. I know you're, who's been, who's been commenting about Demetrius? Demetrius and Mumble, guys, I um, promise you, I'm going to be I'm not gonna hit it I'm not gonna hit no VTEC I'm not gonna hit VTEC I'm gonna drive like a grandma no VTEC of course I'm more talking now and wasting gas trying to leave the car warm up but I'm not gonna hit no VTEC 
and I'm gonna drive like a grandma. I'm gonna see how good this car is gonna last me on gas. Tuned with full bolt-ons, intake header exhaust, plus tuned, VIT tuned. That's my tuner VIT. I know a lot of people that have eight gens, nine gens, 10 gens, um, no VIT, VIT Viper, VIT tuned. So we're gonna see with no VTEC how much it is. I'm gonna be on my best behavior. I'm gonna be best on my best behavior. Even though you can go past where it passed VTEC and because it's a certain percentage, you gotta push your foot down for the throttle response to hit VTEC. So you could go past five, six, seven, eight without VTEC kicking in. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna drive like a grandma. So you guys are gonna be with me with this. And I'm gonna promise you, I'm gonna not, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I know I'm addicted just a little bit to VTEC. So I'm gonna try not to hit it. Let's go, let's get to work. So we got three bars standing here. Let's get to work. So guys, I just made it to work. It's about 20 miles to get to work. About 20 miles to get to work every day. Hmm, so probably 21, 22, because I didn't park yet. So about 20, 21 miles to work every single day. So take that, I gotta take that into consideration. <clears throat> so your boy just made it to work. Time to go in here and make it happen. Make a difference. Make progress. Stick, take a step forward. Let's go. Time to make it happen. Let's go. What's going on, guys? Okay. Just finished work for the day. Time to get out of here. Go home. Enjoy the rest of the day. What's up, Evil Street Shark fam? So, I'm finally home and i wanted to talk to you guys about something so um i believe i still have to drop off two giveaways and then i gotta send you guys your tracking numbers for the guys that are sent. but i'm missing two people i believe it's carlos nunez and i believe dj mcknight they still those two people i'm still waiting for you to send me your your information shipping info so i can send you guys your gift and also guys you guys i can't believe it and i know you guys will probably know this but next week is the last week of 2017 and monday is christmas i cannot believe that yo this year is already over it took no time this year took no time at all man no time this year is almost over so guys it's crazy this year when i i would say definitely this year it's probably all the years in my life where i've definitely learned a lot mentally i would say this year is probably the year like the best year of my life where i learned a lot mentally and how to handle situations and how to overcome obstacles and if there's anything that you want to achieve, you could just put your mind to it and go after it every single day. And being able to like say, okay, you set a goal and you know what you gotta do and you just gotta put in the work and turn your goal into reality and continue to do that same, continue to achieve your goals back to back to back. Um, if I could do it, and I'm showing you guys, if I could do it, you guys can do it too. So I could definitely say, I've learned a lot this year. If something comes in your way, um, don't dwell on the situation. Um, think about the positive situation, look past the, the negative stuff and just look for Like next year, the beginning of next month, I got some stuff planned. So you guys will probably be really excited about. And okay, I have my career, which I really enjoy and love, right? But then you also have something that you're passionate about too. And then of course in life, you have to take risks to uh, get where you want to be and of course like I told you guys at the beginning of this year or, or I don't know if I told you guys yet but at the beginning of this year I was able to get a promotion at the beginning of this year and that definitely I would say helped me tremendously and it was kind of like at the like the last week at the end of the year like the like this promotion just like okay here this is the promotion and it was like way more than I expected. So it definitely was 
a blessing in disguise and now i will say coming down to the last week again and it's crazy i'm doing this giveaway for you guys this 12 gifts 12 giveaway i just went ahead and just did it and then all of a sudden now i'm blessed with another op well not just one opportunity multiple opportunities were like um was recently uh given to me and it's a lot to think of but at the end like i said in life of course you could do what you're already doing to of course get to the same situation or you could take the risk and learn from it and of course it will get you closer to what you want a, a little bit quicker and it will kind of be like a, a secure thing but then you also have to give something up at the same time so it's there's the positives and negatives that you got to think about but i didn't even see this coming again coming down to the end of the year which i don't even feel like oh yay it's the end of the year then now you have to of course new year news goals new this new that it, i'm not i already planned my stuff way before december already hit but still at the same time it's just like wow okay already blessed again with more opportunities which i'm grateful and thankful for because it was definitely hard to get to this point in my life and i had to definitely bust my butt and keep grinding every single day and turn my goal I had into reality and then after I did that it's like okay what's stopping you from doing setting whatever goal you set and turning them into a reality nothing so after that it was just sky's the limit so I don't know it's a lot to think about in life we all have to take risks even we have to do stuff that we do not want to do but it could probably be the best decision of your life if I do decide to go a certain route, I'll definitely update you guys because, of course, we're everyone that joined the Evil Street Shark fam is a family. So definitely I'll keep you guys updated because we're basically a family, especially all the Honda guys and YouTubers and stuff and all the other guys that own Hondas or Acuras. We're that all a family together. So definitely sticking together. But it is what it is. I don't know if you guys know, but I also want to know what is you guys dream car? Put it down in the comment box below. What is your dream car? My dream car has always been, I only want mainly two cars that I always wanted. Number one is a Nissan GTR R35. That is my dream car. I definitely want to be able to take own and get a gtr or r35 gtr and my second dream car is a corvette zr1 corvette zr1 is my dream car after i've seen they first bring out the zr1 and you're in first gear and you're already at 60 miles per hour second gear and the the um speed limit the miles per hour is just going like this second gear third gear fourth gear fifth gear and just goes on and on and on just rips i was like man i that's that that car is nasty so those two cars are my dream car hopefully uh that's one of my goals to definitely one day own those two cars and but put in the comment box below what is your guys dream cars i want to know what is your dream cars that's it guys if there is anything that you want to achieve if there's a goal that you set find your inner drive and go after that goal or whatever you want to achieve every single day peace see you guys tomorrow with another video